Daniel here with Bullseye Leak Detection. Hey, I'm gonna take you through how to do a bucket test. This is gonna be a simple test you can do yourself to determine how much water your pool or spa is leaking and how much of that water is actually evaporation. First thing we wanna do is get our pool and spa at a normal operating level. That's gonna be halfway up the tile line and typically halfway up the skimmer throat. Next thing we're gonna need is a bucket, typically a five gallon bucket and preferably one that might have measuring marks on it so you can see where you start and where you end with your test. Next step is you're gonna to wanna to put water into the bucket that is the same water that's in the pool and you wanna have the bucket on a step in the pool so the water in the pool and the water in the bucket is the same temperature. The other thing is you wanna have your bucket weighted. So if you look inside, you'll see that we've got a rock in here and you don't wanna use a brick or a type of stone that's gonna absorb water you want something that is like granite or a stone that is gonna just hold the bucket in place. Make sure it's on a level step and you wanna have it up on one of those upper steps of your spa or your pool. And now it's level, it's not moving, and you're ready to start marking your level to begin with. All right, to mark the inside and the outside of the bucket, we do have lines on these buckets so we can kind of see where we are. We wanna make sure it's stable and I can clean this off so I can see where the mark is all right I'm gonna mark what day it is and then I'm gonna mark the inside of the bucket so I've marked the outside and the inside and I've got the day that it's marked a couple things just want to go over if you have pets you got a dog that likes to swim in the pool if you have kids that like to play in the pool that will disrupt your bucket test so during the test period which should be one to two days you're gonna want to make sure that the pool is not being used in any way where water is being removed other than what's normal evaporation or your leak if you have a fountain or a spillway that you know loses water or has a lot of evaporation, you're gonna to wanna to turn those things off. Next thing we're gonna to wanna to look at is the level after a 24 hour and a 48 hour period. Normal evaporation is gonna vary depending on how much sunlight, how deep the pool is, how much wind comes across the surface of the pool, and how much water is disrupted breaking the surface. So if there's fountains, spillways, the surface tension being broken will cause a greater amount of evaporation. Bucket is gonna evaporate at the same rate inside the bucket as it does in the pool. So your measurement in the bucket is your exact evaporation rate that you're losing for the water temperature and the temperature outside. Whatever you're losing beyond what you measured on the inside of the bucket is going to be what your rate of loss is. So if you have lost a quarter inch of water in a 24 hour period and in inside the bucket, and the pool has lost three quarters of an inch, that means that your rate of loss is a half inch beyond evaporation. If you the pool lost a quarter inch and the inside of the bucket lost a quarter inch, that means that they both lost at the same rate and the amount of water you're losing in your pool or spa is from evaporation. You don't need a leak detection or any type of testing done beyond that because it's just normal evaporation. If you find that you do have a significant leak, you're losing say an inch of water or half inch of water beyond evaporation, the next thing we wanna do is change the scenario. So turn off the spa so it doesn't spill over into the pool, turn off the equipment, and then run the test again for 24 hours. Is it the same or does it change? So if it dramatically decreases, that means that, that you might have an issue in the spa versus the pool. It might mean that you have an, an issue with the piping versus in the structure. So these are good clues that can give you some answers as far as how the pool is leaking and really help a technician who's coming out to test the pool when it gets to this point and you know that you have a leak, you know it might be underground, it might be in the structure, you're probably gonna need a higher professional at that point to come in and go through and test the system. But now you have a baseline. You know how much water you're losing and when you get that leak resolved, you're gonna be able to do that test again and, and check to see that it was actually fixed and that your pool is no longer leaking.